Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 7th of November. And I am looking at a game on the Amiga called Leander. And this game is fan bloody tastic. So we're going to get stuck in in a couple of minutes' time. Gonna have a look at this. Uh, really, really nice loading screen. That is just cool. Um, sorry about my absence, guys. I'm very busy in my uh, life at the moment, trying to get houses sorted and bits and pieces done. And uh, it's just a big cacophony of stuff that needs to be sorted out but I am not absent I am still here so thank you for sticking with me um oh yeah so like I said we're gonna look at this by Psygnosis which is a great great company and uh, Leander which is a side-scrolling platformer hack and slash them up if you like very very cool um, so you play the part of the knight Leander and let's have a look at the options as well. So we've got... Ooh, I like it when they put actually assign two fire buttons. I think that's cool. Five lives is pretty good. You can see there there is a, a level start, um, level selection there via code. But look at this. I mean, the music in this game is phenomenal. And I mean, I'm not just saying that it's good. I mean, the music in this game is bloody awesome. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to be quiet for a sec just so you can hear it. There you go, some amazing music there, and this game really excels, both graphically, gameplay-wise, and music. It's absolutely, it's a gem. This game is absolutely amazing. So, the idea is that basically each level, you're presented with an object that you need to find, and then you go and find a portal to exit out of the level. If you don't find the object, you can't exit the uh, level, so make sure you do that, and power up, and boom. Yeah, you can do like, um, I think it's like a, a smart bomb, if you like doing that. So you push down on the, on the joystick to duck and then you hold the fire button down and you will eventually explode. You can see my armor has now changed color as well which is cool. But the animation on this, look at the walking animations on, on, the, on our main character there. Uh, big sweeping slashes with the sword and also a nice... oh yes, uh, I just got attacked. Um, and your lives are shown in the top right corner, score in the top central, um, smart bombs in the top left and obviously coins as well now for some reason my uh, graphics are a bit glitchy on this one I'm not sure why it could be because it's from the Amiga 1200 hard drive that I'm actually running this so that could be why but you can see what's going on anyway nice and smooth the uh, scrolling absolutely beautiful scrolling um, I love the fact that everything's animated on our character as well um, the, the plume on top of his helmet as well also animated, which is absolutely fabulous. Really, really good game. Uh, I did play Leander back when I had an Amiga as well. Uh, so this is just a revisit for me, essentially. But it was one of those games I had on my to-do list because I wanted to bring this game to you guys. Because how many of you have actually played Leander if you've never played it before? I think you should hunt it down and give it a go. I mean, Psygnosis were fairly good with their games. Another game I want to actually show you as well at some point in the future is Agony on the Amiga. Because that was another stonking game. And it really good but rock hard so this game kind of goes down that route but it's not it's kind of got a nicer learning curve but yes I will be looking at agony sometime in the future uh, I'm gonna try and show you as many games as I humanly can it's, uh, it's a it's a fairly vast library across all the systems but I hope you're enjoying the show I have some feedback actually. Do you want me to continue calling it the Retro Revival Show or should I call it the Retro Review? Which would you prefer? Because I can change the name if need be. But I would like your input on that. So leave a message in the comments for me about that and I will take your comments on board. Remember, keep it constructive and rude comments will be removed because there's no point being rude unless you've got your own channel and you can, you know, you can big yourself up that way, but keep it constructive. I don't run around other people's channels leaving rude comments on. So there you go, because I'm a nice guy. That's what I do. I'm, I'm nice. I'm a retro gamer. So we should all be sticking together, folks. But yeah, this game is is great. I mean, I I really, really like that walking animation. I, I know it's just like a simple walking animation, but God, it's good. Very good, in fact. And you can see that I went through that portal, which ended the level. 
Uh, and now I can't seem to jump up there. So there must be a trick to this. Um, I don't think you can jump any higher from your standard jump. So we'll have to see if there's anything else we can do. Uh, if you run into those spikes, you're obviously going to cause yourself a little bit of pain. So, um... Oh! Oh, something coming. Ah! Die! Oh, no, wait. That's... Oh, I see. Got to <laughs> okay. Trying to massacre the horse. Uh, jump up onto the platform via the, um... Via the horse and cart. That's quite cool. These rocks are a bit of a pain in the backside to avoid, though. Actually, quite hard to avoid. Um... Yeah, that's a bit unnecessary, but uh, you can see that it does keep you on your toes. You do have a few hits before you die, by the way. Um, I think it's like three or four. The music's... I just can't... I can't tell you how good the music is. I mean, I've, I've, I have I've, tend to bring my vol volume down a little bit when I'm doing reviews, just so you guys can hear my voice a bit, so I don't get drowned out by the, uh, by the game noise. But this game, it's worth looking up. Oh, an arrow in the face! That's not good. Um, it's worth having a look up, possibly on YouTube, or if you've got the game itself hanging around anywhere, load it up and just listen to the music. It's absolutely amazing. So, massive props to the artists. And also for the graphic artists as well. This game looks great, it plays great, sounds great. You've pretty much got a recipe for a 5 out of 5 here, guys. Um, it's not too tricky. It's glorious looking. I mean, it's one probably one of the better games, uh, looking games on the Amiga. I do like this, and it, I don't think it was AGA. I think this was normal A500. So, but I'm playing this from a 1200 hard drive, like I said. Uh, if you've got an Amiga 1200, by the way, and you've got a hard drive in, have a look at WHD Load, and then you should be able to uh, load games onto your Amiga hard drive. Now, there are games readily available on the internet. I can't tell you where to look because that would be naughty but uh, if you look hard enough you'll you'll find them so there you go but um, if you like platformers and you like your hack and slashing then you are going to love Leander and I think this is one of those games that has a really big replay factor on it as well it, it's not irritating when you die it just keeps you it just it's just more more determined to get the level finished and progress um, there's no continues, so you've really got to be careful what you're doing. Uh, the level layout remains the same per load, so that's fine. So you can actually learn um, the, the structure of the level when the bad guys are coming in, etc. So you, you can learn it that way if you've got a mind that learns well. So there you have it. But yes, um, I thought I would bring you this game because I love it. And I hope you will too. And I hope you'll actually go out there and give it a try. Because that's kind of what the channel's about. It's not just about reviewing games, it's to encourage you guys to go out there and play it yourselves. It's great watching me play it and commentating over the top, but but on the same token, you guys you guys really need to start playing these games yourself and uh, having a go. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with a bit more Leander. I will catch you guys in the next review. Thanks for tuning in, as always, and I will catch you guys again very soon. Bye for now!